The first secret is every single player gets 5,000 gingerbreads for free. Now you might log into Adopt Me and see this notification and be slightly confused why it says you've been compensated 5,000 gingerbread for the Winterfest launch issues. Many of you are questioning, what are the issues and why have you just been magically given 5,000 gingerbread? It says awesome, you click it and it literally goes and gives you 5,000 gingerbread. So there was a few issues with the mini games where they weren't allowing you to actually go and clean the points, such as me playing pet rescue and it not actually counting my score. And because of those issues, Adopt Me wanted to make up to the community by just simply giving them free gingerbread. I think this is the highest score I've actually gone and got so far, 4,300 giving you a total of 3,200 gingerbread. The better your score is, the more gingerbread you go and get. If you're in the losing team, I believe you get 15,000, but if you win and you have a good score, you can earn quite a significant amount of gingerbread. Now, the second secret is actually a very, very cool one, which isn't really technically a secret, more of a thing that no one has really gone and discussed. Well, this right here is the advent calendar. After you go and open day one, you get a mystery prize, and up in day number... Wait, it shows you what this is? What? It shows you what day 25 pet is? Is that a mistake? Is that meant to be that? I, I didn't know that was that. That's so funny. What? Okay, so I guess on day 25, we got this adorable gingerbread mouse. No way. That's so cool. Uh, fun fact is I can... I can uh, go behind the glass because I've got this free cam. Uh, Adopt Me gave me the secret tool, but oh my word. What? This is the pet. Oh, let's go. That's so cool. Okay. So honestly, I didn't know that was what was behind day 25. That wasn't the secret I was going to tell you, but this is so cool. Wow. I like that. Honestly, surprised. Secret. I like that. All right. Let me go and demonstrate. I was going to tell you. Uh, let's pull out the other gingerbread. Because last year, or the year before, we got a gingerbread reindeer. This seems very similar, right? The gingerbread reindeer and whatever this new pet is. Like, we do it all side by side. This is the gingerbread reindeer. It seems that this new one is also going to be like a, a gingerbread mouse. Uh, which is very cool. I do like the looks of that. Anyway, what is the secret that I was going to tell you? Well, if you go and open 20 of these days, because there's 25 days, if you open up 20 of them, okay, it doesn't have to be like 1 to 20. It could be that you missed day 10, for example, and then you claim day 21. So as long as you claim a total of 20 is what this says. Open 20 calendar doors to receive a special Christmas pudding pup bait. And this right here is the Christmas pudding pups um, bait. If you don't know what bait is, basically you go and use bait in your house. So if I'm to go and reset my character and um, go over to my normal location right here, this is where you go and place baits. So an example is uh, flaming zebra bait. We're going to get a brand new bait, which goes and attracts the pup which is kind of cool, or obviously you can place down your campfire cookies. Now with the bait, you're guaranteed to go and get the pet that it says. So for example, this one, if I put a flaming zebra bait down, I will have a 100% chance of going and getting the zebra. If I put this down, obviously you only have like a 1.5% chance of getting a pet, which is what makes them really difficult to go and get. But with this brand new thing at the Christmas Winterfest, you are able to go and get it as long as you have a 20 day claim. So log in for 20 days to go and get the pudding pup bait. Now, what I would advise is make an alt account. If you don't have an alt account right now, do it now, do it while you can, be prepared early. Or say your friend has a Roblox account and they don't play Adopt Me, ask if you could borrow theirs. All they need to do is log in every day and claim the door. Um, this says the advent calendar will start on December the 1st, it's not started, so obviously we'll be able to go and open this up. Um, so claim 20 and you get this. But there's even more secrets. Honestly, Adopt Me has gone like all out with the, the secrets in this update, which is great. I love it. I love all of this. So as you can see, there's all of these awesome like petware things that we can go and purchase. Well, none of these are like secret, right? There's just 
random stuff that you could go and purchase if you wanted to go and spend your gingerbread on it, such as like a, a holly crown or some Christmas tree earrings or the reindeer hood, all of that pretty cool stuff. Well, over here is a market and inside of the market is question marks, right? So in six days, we're going to be getting this. Not much of a secret though, is it? Because it's a question mark so we don't really know what it is. What's inside the houses? Uh, nothing, what's in this one? Nothing, I, I'm being sneaky. I'm kind of glitching through. Um, nothing in here, nothing in, oh, what's in here? Um, also, also nothing, and in here is also nothing. But while exploring, there is something secret. You see this? That's right, this is a secret item, okay? A secret, secret item. So let's go and head on over to there and go and purchase it, okay? So we could go and purchase this right now, which is a snowflake propeller, but we don't want that. We could buy a wrapping paper throw toy, but we also, we do not want that. Um, or we could go and purchase a Yule Log Pogo Stick, which is kind of cool. But if you go in between here, not many people are going to do this because it's a secret. Why would anyone go down here? Like... It's, it's behind the houses in the middle of nowhere. And if you walk up closely to this wooden sword, you'll notice there is a button and it says, buy the wooden sword for 850 gingerbread. That's right. No one talked about this. It is the secret wooden sword for 850 gingerbread. And there we go. Oh, that's cool. It kind of like goes over. Whoa, look at that. It like slices. Okay, that's crazy. What a, what a crazy item. Honestly, was not expecting that. It has like some crazy slashing animation. Adopt me, what, what's going on here? What's going on? I have a feeling that this secret item might be in relation to week two of Winterfest. Week two of the Christmas update is going to introduce us with an evil storyline playthrough where we can go and defeat a giant boss in hopes of earning a Christmas future egg. That's right, there is a brand new egg that players can go and earn. It's a pretty cool looking egg and you guys are all going to absolutely love it. I've had a sneak peek at this whole game and what the brand new egg looks like and it's great. The egg actually only opens up on Christmas Day. So if you get the egg early, you can't go and use any instant hatches. You've got to wait until Christmas to go and hatch the pet. As for what pets you could hatch out of it, still remains slightly a mystery. In case anyone is confused also how this minigame works, you have to be a close distance to the item. If you try and do it from far away, it just doesn't do anything. What you want to do is walk up and follow it and always be behind it because if you go in front, it will actually go and knock you over and obviously you want to go and earn the maximum gingerbread. There we go. I think I just broke my record and it seems the maximum amount of gingerbread that any player can go and earn from this minigame is 3200. So is there any more secrets inside of the Winterfest Christmas update in Adopt Me? Well, not that I'm sure of as of yet, but if you do have any other secrets that you know, then please let me know in the comments. You should watch this video next where I make mega neons of all of the brand new pets. Click the video here right now on screen to see me make a mega neon chocolate chip bat dragon.